Hello and welcome back to the Rainbow Library. Today I'm excited to bring you another book haul because my local library actually had their first book sale in a few months and so I went and I told myself I would get like three or four books but I came out with nine of course <laughs> and I also have a tenth book to show you that I ordered from online so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. First we have Lessons from a Younger Lover by Zuri Day. This is of course about an older woman and a younger man and I believe that she comes back to her hometown after a bad divorce, and then she ends up meeting this gorgeous man on the cover. And um, I've actually picked up a few books by Zuri Day. I've never read any of them, but I know I have a few back here on my shelf. So I'm excited to try out her work. And until then, this is definitely going to be displayed on my shelf because it's gorgeous. So next I have three books by Eloisa James. These all came from the book sale. We have Pleasure for Pleasure. He promises to teach her about desire, but can she teach him about love? So this is a historical, and it looks like kind of a, an arranged marriage type of deal, which that's not maybe my favorite trope, but I do usually enjoy it. Um, and I want to read more historical romances anyways, because I tend to read more contemporary. Next we have Wild and Love by Eloisa James. This is the first book in the Wilds of Lindo Castle series. And here's a step back. No one needed to point out that he was wild in love. The whole castle knew. He knew. My third Eloisa James that I picked up is also from the Wilds of Lindo Castle series, Say No to the Duke. And here's the step back. It says, would you say no? I sure would not. Um, <laughs> and I mainly picked this up because it looks like it has kind of an element of the main female character wearing men's clothing. And I'm not sure if that's like to disguise herself for something in particular or yeah, I'm not sure exactly of the details and I might be wrong about that, but that's the impression that I got from reading the back cover. And so that was the main reason I picked this one up because that's a trope that I enjoy and I would like to read more of. Next, we've got The Light Keeper by Susan Wiggs. This is about a the keeper of a lighthouse and he actually has to take care of a woman when she washes up and she's pregnant. And so that sounded really interesting to me. And there's another book about a lighthouse keeper that I've been meaning to read, and I think it's by Penelope Neal maybe, but I can't remember the title. But that one also has a gorgeous cover. Here's this one again. Um, so yeah, more books about lighthouse keepers and more books about women in men's clothing. <laughs> Next we have Her Scandalous Pursuit by Candace Camp. And this one has pretty step back as well. So we have the long-awaited prequel to the Mad Moreland series. I don't know anything about this series, but I have heard good things about the author Candace Camp, so I'm excited to give this a try. And if I like this one, then I will give the rest of the series a try. And I just realized that a lot of these have the um, Target sticker on there, but uh, like I said, I did get them from my library book sale. Next we have Teresa Medeiros, Touch of Enchantment, and this is a time travel historical romance, and it actually takes place in medieval times. The female main character is transported back in time by an am amulet, and she falls in love with a knight. And this one has a nice picture on the side here. Next we have two that I'm sure a lot of people are going to be excited about, and I'm very excited about to have found. First we have The Duchess Deal by Tessa Dare. A simple arrangement complicated by passion. So it sounds like there's some kind of um, marriage of convenience going on there, maybe. Um, I've heard great things about Tessa Dare, and I actually haven't read any of her books yet. And these are the first two that I've purchased. Um, but I heard that she's a very funny writer, and also that her romances are very sweet. So this next one is Do You Want to Start a Scandal? Which is in the Castles Ever After series, I think. Yeah. Um... And for some reason, this one did not have the cover on it, but I went ahead and purchased it anyways, so I don't know what the deal is with that, but it does have a pretty step back. <laughs> it takes two to scandal. So again, I don't know a whole lot about what this one is about, but I've been meaning to read Tessa Dare for so long at this point that I was just ecstatic to find any of her books. And last but not least, we have Let Sleeping Rogues Lie by Sabrina Jeffries, and this is from the School for Heiresses series. Here's that step back. And Temptation has its own rewards. 
he taught her that desire has its own rules and temptation has its own rewards. So this sounds interesting as well. So it sounds like there's a teacher and then she ends up taking lessons from a man, romantic lessons, some other kind of lessons. Um, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> so these all sound like a great time to me and I'm really um, happy that my library is going to be opening again. Um, I'm happy that the world is hopefully opening again once more people get vaccinated and that kind of thing. Um, but I just want to say thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please stay safe and have a great day.